What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna to show you how to take your favorite LUTs and turn those LUTs into presets that you can use in Lightroom when you're editing those snaps that I know you've been taking. You don't need to tell me, I know. I'm also gonna be showing you a super cool way to get an intensity slider for your existing presets. So, if you're a photographer and a videographer that wants to combine the best of both worlds, grab your computer, grab your mouse, grab your keyboard, grab all the things, and let's just jump into it. Okay, so first and foremost, if you are in Lightroom, go ahead and close out of it. Now over in Photoshop, you wanna go ahead and open up your image. Now, this is gonna go ahead and open in Camera Raw. What you're gonna to wanna to do is head up to the Preset tab and Alt-click on the new preset icon. In this new dialog box, click Load Cube File and navigate to where your LUTs are saved. Go ahead and pick one. In my case, I'm gonna be using the Corduroy LUT, which I think is made by Daniel Schiffer, but I could be wrong. So go ahead and open your LUT. Now give it a name, so I'm going to go ahead and call this one Corduroy. This is the name that it'll end up with in Lightroom. Once you're done, you can go ahead and close out. Now once you're over in Lightroom, you want to navigate to the profile browser. That's where your new preset is going to be saved. So you can see I've got Corduroy here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And then using the slider, I can adjust the amount, which is the super dope thing about this. I can go away from nothing all the way up to 100, which would be the normal strength, or I can over crank it all the way to 200. Now another amazing feature of this is the ability to do this with existing presets. So jumping back into Photoshop, navigate to the exact same place and pick an existing preset from the drop down. I'm going to be using Chris Howell's Aloha preset. I like this one, it's, it's a great preset. Once you've done that, alt click on the new preset button just the same as before. You want to go ahead and make sure that all of these boxes are ticked. Once you've checked all the boxes are ticked, make sure your tone map strength is set to low. Once you've made sure that that is actually the case, you can hit OK and then go ahead and close out of Photoshop, just the same as before. Now, if I jump back into Lightroom, you'll see that we've got a second preset called Aloha. And lo and behold, we can adjust the intensity of the preset. This just amazing, blew my mind. I absolutely love doing this. Now, if you want to, you can stack presets and profiles. Make sure you choose your preset first and then pick your profile and you'll see like this, you get a really cool blend. You can then use the adjustment slider to make a change to the profile so you don't have it too strong or too weak. And if you make something you like, go ahead and create a new preset. Just make sure the treatment and profile box is ticked. Give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and call this one Aloha 2.0 because it's a bit of a mix on the first one. Hit create and then if I scroll down here, you'll see that it is saved in my user presets. Right in here, there's Aloha 2.0, just like that. Super simple, super easy. I can then go in and just drop that onto another photo when it eventually loads. <laughs> I can go ahead and chuck that on there, adjust the exposure and lo and behold, new preset. So guys, that's how you get LUTs in Lightroom and a cool preset intensity slider. First time I saw that, mind was absolutely blown so i really hope you guys liked the video if you did please go ahead hit the like button subscribe if you are not already because i'd love to have you here leave me some comments let me know some other things that you'd love to see me do tutorial videos on or just some other stuff you'd love to see on the channel in general take it easy and i will see you in the next one peace